Hello everybody and welcome to this video on what WannaCry does to your computer if you get infected. Uh, so right now I'm actually in a Linux machine. Let me jump over to Windows. This is Windows 7. It doesn't have uh, any of the patches. It is far far beyond or behind on patches and I have a sample here of WannaCry and this particular sample doesn't have a kill switch. It is one of the variants that I found online that just goes crazy and encrypts everything it can. So I'm going to use this little file here as my little test file. It's my super important file that I hope nothing bad happens to this file ever because, you know, the world might end or something. So let me close PE Studio and bring up process hacker so we can see exactly what's going on here start our procmon we'll stop it for now delete it and get everything ready the way we want okay so let's start it and then run wanna cry and i'll run it with administrator privilege and let it do its thing so <laughs> immediately we can see all these files just jump on our desktop let's see what else where else are we going here let's try my documents so here's my super important file my original in the encrypted version my original is still sitting here let's see how long it takes for it to delete it Oh, and by the way, this is a virtual machine, not my actual real computer. Um, yeah, running this on your actual computer is not really a good idea because you, <laughs> you will lose your files. That's odd. Oh, no, I still have my soup. Oh, there it goes. It just deleted my super important data. And if we take a look. Oh, I must have missed it. Hey, oh, nope, there it is. So it also executes um, the Volume Shadow Copy Service, which uh, I actually have a video on using Volume Shadow Copies to restore deleted files. So you can't even use that to try and restore your data because it encrypts the stuff that's sitting in there too. So once this thing runs, you're, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Not a good thing. Um, so, yeah. So this is what you'll see. We can stop our capture here. And, um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And let's see what this decrypt button does. Apparently, absolutely nothing. Select a host and click start. Now pay if you want to decrypt all your files. <laughs> so let's see, what did it decrypt for me? Um, okay, my security 660 Empire Master. Uh, what did it, uh, a PowerShell script. It decrypted a batch file that I have in PyMay. A bitmap in PyMay. A text file in my war FTP sys message. So it, it appears to be like extremely ran oh it even encrypt that's weird it encrypts header files and like c plus plus files but it doesn't encrypt python files which is kind of odd it makes me it now i don't have no evidence of this because i haven't even really begun to mess around with it but that kind of makes me think i have a theory that this thing might be running off of python why would it not decrypt Python files or encrypt Python files, but we obviously seen it will encrypt um, .h files, header files uh, for C and C++. Kind of weird. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll do what I can to see what other things we can do with this uh, one encrypt malware or one cry malware. Maybe mess around with it a little bit maybe see if we can't pull some keys out of memory and decrypt this stuff ourselves 
Um, so until next time, have a good one.